What's the point of this film? Well, sir, I am Prince that's not nice to meet you. <laughs> Was it kind of an abstract movie? Ah, it's the Catman Pooh Project. It's in the rich tradition. The wooden puppet hero epics, much like Pinocchio. And Punchy Judy. Chucky 1 and 2. And the presidency of George Bush 2. <laughs> Tell us, uh, what were some of the biggest challenges in making this film? We had a CGI part of the Catman show at one point. And the actor, Fluffy, was a total prima madonna. You can see a scene in which we had to spread holistic dizzy treats all around the set just to get him out of that cat box. And the generic treats weren't leaving. And the substance abuse was rampant. There was catnip all over the place. He was so high. He could not perform the big cut fight scene. I was quite disappointed. Well, many cat lovers have sh shown up to the premieres to protest your film so much it, it uh, exploits cat fights and, and cat trafficking. What do you have to say about that? I think that this is a rumor that's been spreading around on Fox News. Actually, my girlfriend is a poor. The reason that you settled on an all elf crew to shoot the film it seems like an odd choice at best. No! Oh. I contract to keep the elves on Craigslist. <laughs> they were out of work, having just finished that Pinocchio gig. Plus, they were the perfect size, with the teeny, nimble fingers, and they brought their own snacks. <laughs> See, the fortune not for our services. <laughs> Besides, the mini mafia made me an offer I could not refuse. Well, uh, without further ado, here's the film, Cut Man Pooh. Relax and enjoy. Pass heaven. Shadowed by the great mountains of giants trekking under the gaze of the gods of the mountains. Through the valley, towards the cemetery of ancestors. And the resting place of the ancestors. The ghosts of the graveyard do the dance of the dead. The somber of the phenomenon. The lumber of the repose. Passing beneath the bunion tree of heaven, some call the yuck yuck tree, because of all the rotten fruits thrown about beneath its lip. Prince Lance a bunch and his adjunct wolf schnitzel all over under the monuments his father the king had looked up upon, erected by his great grandpapa. King Muckamuck. Well, not actually built by his great grandfather. He uh, more or less subcontracted it to his uh, his brother-in-law Dave. He not possessing the pickup nor the necessary temple permits, nor the full array of craftsman tools at his disposal. However, he did pick up some of the day laborers and drop them off at the job site on his way to the palace a couple of times. Prince Lance a little was on a mighty quest besided by the wolfhound Schnitzelgrubel to find and slay the beast of the east, the lion run amok, the almighty once guard cat of the palace, Cat Manchu. He was one of the king's favorite guardians watching over the palace until he crossed to the dark side upon uh, eating most of the wild game the geese cows moving on to uh, all the king's horses and all the king's men and then some of the king's chickens finally the king himself 
The courtesans were spared for a short while, then uh, forming a, uh, a support group, uh, Courtesans United. But alas, all but one of them was eaten by Catman Chu. Also, put it all in context. Prince Lance a bunch took on the rogue Katmandu and ensued a, a bitter battle, a battle of spears and claws and fangs and fur and dust and such. The graveyard was tossed and turned till there was one victor left, and that victor was Prince Lance of Little. Having revenged the uh, slaughter and pillage of his village, the death of his father, Prince Lance of Bunch grabbed the wolfhound Snitchelkugel, turned and headed back through the pass under the mountains under the monuments built by his forebearers, back, back into the night. The end. Man, cat, man, chew, man, chew. He just stood up a hairball as big as a house. He ate up the temple. Those bones ain't come in. Around. 